In this video, we will make the indoor air quality monitoring system with BME 680, 0.96 inch SST 1306 OLED display and ESP8266 Node MCU web server. We will use the advanced BSEC library for BME 680 environmental sensor and monitor its parameters including IAQ on the OLED display and the web server simultaneously so that we can monitor the sensor values remotely from our local area network. In our previous project, we have interfaced the Arduino with an integrated BME 680 environmental sensor and further we have made an IoT based air quality monitoring system on the Blink IoT cloud. But the drawbacks of that project was we could not calculate the IAQ value that is index of air quality, carbon dioxide equivalent and the percentage of volatile organic compound. We could only measure the environmental parameters like temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude, dew point and the gas resistance. So in this video, we will use the highly advanced BME 680 library that is BSEC library which is now supported by the Node MCU and the ESP32 development board. With the help of this library, we can measure the temperature, humidity, pressure, value of IAQ, equivalent carbon dioxide and the total volatile organic compound. SSD1306 OLED display is used to monitor the environmental data. We can use the ESP8266 web server to remotely monitor those values. The ESP8266 connects to your Wi-Fi network and uploads the data regularly to the web server. And in this way, we can use this BME680 sensor with ESP8266 Node MCU for monitoring the indoor air quality or IAQ from any device in your network. So without doing any delay, let's get into the project. So firstly we need Node MCU ESP8266 development board, BME680 environmental sensor, 0.96 inch I2C OLED display, few jumper wires and a breadboard. The BME680 is a 4-in-1 environmental sensor that can measure gas, humidity, pressure and temperature. The BME 680 sensor operates between 1.7V to 3.6V. The standby power consumption of this module is 0.29 to 0.8 microampere and while in the sleep mode, the power consumption is between 0.15 to 1 microampere. The operation range of the temperature sensor is minus 40 to 85 degree centigrade and the operation range of humidity sensor is 0 to 100 percent operation range of pressure sensor is 300 to 1100 spa and the operation range of altitude is 3000 feet the bme 680 can measure the air quality index from 0 to 500 ppm and here is the table for indoor air quality monitoring system, the main components used here is the Node MCU development board. You can use any other ESP8266 based board like Wemos D1 Mini and all these boards have ESP8266 2LE chip which has an built-in Wi-Fi chip that can upload the data to the internet or the server using the Wi-Fi network. Here is the connection diagram between the Node MCU, BME 680 and the OLED display. Interface the BME 680 and the OLED display SCL and SDA pin to the D1 and D2 that is default I2C pin of the Node MCU board. Simply supply the 3.3V power to the BME 680 and the OLED display through the 3.3V pin of the Node MCU. Connect the GND pin to the ground and connect the SDO pin to the 3.3V. This is important because the original code was programmed to use the alternative I2C address that is 0 cross 77. For calculating IAQ and other VOCS gas parameters, we use the BSEC library for and it is complicated and advanced library where the BSEC means both sensor tech environment cluster. This library is conceptualized to provide a higher level processing signal. The library receives the raw sensor values from the sensor API 
and then process the BME 680 signals to provide the requested output. You can check the BSEC GitHub repository for more details. You can install the BSEC library from the library manager on Arduino IDE. Before using this library, you need to modify some system files as per the instruction. So go to the following folder C users username app data local Arduino 15 packages ESP8266 hardware and ESP8266 3.0.0 open the platform.txt file on notepad plus plus or any other text editor file look for the following piece of code on line number 95 and add this line of code on line number 96 now simply go to the line number 112 and add this line to the code and The final step is to save the file and now you are good to go. Here is the indoor air quality monitoring program code to retrieve the BME 680 IAQ value and other gas parameters. You can use this code for IAQ monitoring on OLED display and ESP8266 web server. Before uploading the code, make sure to change your Wi-Fi credential here. Now go to the tools menu and select the node MCU ESP8266 to value board. Then select the COM port and finally hit the upload button to upload the code. After successful upload of this program, open the serial monitor and you will find the IP address of your node MCU board. Simply copy and paste it into the web browser or enter it manually. You will see a beautiful web page which will load and you will be able to monitor the BME 680 sensor readings remotely from your Wi-Fi network. These parameters will be displayed on the web server in every second. Here you will see the IAQ status. It depends upon the static IAQ index value. You can see the table here. And you will get a temperature in degree centigrade relative humidity in percentage, pressure in HPA, IAQ index in PPM, CO2 equivalent in PPM and breath BOC equivalent in PPM. The ESP8266 board will try to connect to your Wi-Fi network with the given SSID and password in the code. The BME680 IAQ data is uploaded to the ESP8266 after the interval of every second and the data can be monitored on a OLED display as well and you can monitor it on serial monitor as well as you can monitor the same value using your smartphone or PC through the web server. So this is how we can use this BME680 with ESP8266 and OLED display to monitor the indoor air quality as well as outdoor air quality. It is very simple and nice way of monitoring the environmental air quality in your local area network. And here you can fake your environment data by adding some external gases. You can watch this demonstration video and you will be clear about the project. So I hope you love this project and if you did please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button and share this project with your friends. It's me Elson signing off for today. See you soon on the next video.